Can you guys see? Let me hold the camera way up. Beyond those bushes is a random creek I've never fished in, but that's not the main thing. The main thing is right now, we are waiting on Reggie to surprise him with an entire arsenal of new fishing gear. Yikes, that was almost a car accident. Hey, what up, man? Yo, check it out, guys. Good morning, Reggie. good morning. What's I'm up? Back. I'm back. We're not live streaming. This is a regular video, just uh -huh. like, you know, eating a little breakfast. Yeah, What do you got? Oatmeal. 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 Dude, that, guys, oatmeal is the healthiest breakfast you could ever eat. Whole grain oats? Mm-hmm. Quaker? Mm -hmm. Is it Quaker? Yeah, Quaker. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Yep. This guy knows what's up. Hey Reggie, let me show you what we've got for you right, right. here. We've got an entire new arsenal of gear. Oh, this man. is your new rod and reel right here. Wow. So you were using a $10 Zebco before. Yes. We're gonna upgrade you, my man. Yes. Have yes. you ever caught a largemouth? You caught largemouth, right? No. Are you serious? No. I was really hoping that's what we were catching today. Yeah, we're going for bass today. Yes. So that's what we're going for. Yes. All right, let me show you what else we've got for you. Whoa. So guys, all this new gear was paid for by you. You guys, in our last live stream, you donated a lot of money to Reggie, the Reggie Fund. The, the, Reggie, the Reggie Fishing Fund. fund. Reggie, Reggie Fishing Fund. So we're hooking them up right now. And we got you, so this is my backpack right there. Okay. We got you the exact same backpack oh, as me. So you can be a little a little double. <laughs> and look, this all this gear right there in the back, oh, go check goodness. it out. Go check that out, my man. <laughs> go check this out. This is all so yours right stuff. here. All right, this is- Oh my goodness. So this is all bass fishing gear. Okay. Oh Do you know how to goodness. use any of it, first of all? Um, I I think I know how to use like the crankbaits. Okay. I, I feel all like right. I, I would, uh, the worms, not so much, but yeah. I'm, I'm down a line. All right. Do you really travel an hour to go fishing? When you sent me the- uh, Yeah. The Dude. Dude. See this guy, this guy's not a fisherman, you guys. <laughs> I travel, I'll travel three hours to go fishing, my man. Dude, I'll travel, I will travel anywhere, anywhere there's fish, I will travel to go. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that's yeah. the dedication of a fisherman. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. True commitment. Yeah. True commitment. All right, you ready, dude? Yeah, I'm down. All right. Guys, we're going to begin the fishing adventure and series of teaching Reggie how to catch all different species of fish, how to use all these different baits. I hope you're a good learner. I, oh. Hey, I, I hope so. I think so. Reggie okay. is a sixth grade teacher, but today he's gonna be the student. That's right. Here's what's going down, guys. We've got the canal all the way. Look at that. It goes all the way up till it connects to the Potomac Falls. This is a uh, this is an interesting looking place for sure. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a bridge. We might want to start fishing here. Check out the water. Did you say we had a lot of rain yesterday, Reggie? Yeah, we had a lot of rain yesterday. A lot of rain. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's check this out. So we've got stained water. Let's go ahead and feel the temperature right here. Ooh. Oh, that's warm. That's real warm. That's probably like, I'll measure it. You know what? You know what we're gonna start you off with? Okay. I'm gonna start you off with a chatterbait. Okay. You never fished yet, have you? Nope. Reggie's gear is not organized yet, so we're gonna let him borrow my stuff for today. Okay. Um, seeing the conditions we got, I'm gonna start him off with the chatterbait. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grow, we're gonna grab a quarter ounce white chatterbait, the shadow running. Try to match the hatch a little bit. So this guy right here should be just fine. You can go ahead and grab your rod. First thing you want to do, what's the first thing you want to do right now? Reel it up. Reel it up, uh -huh. yeah. Check your drag. Make sure your okay. drag is checked. Got is uh, set. Mm. Yeah, a little bit loose right there. And is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Um, clockwise. Yeah, you can always pull it to see how it's doing. Yeah. Watch out for the uh, jogger coming. We don't want to catch anything that's not the targeted species. So basically, for fishing the chatterbait, you basically just cast it out and do a slow, steady retrieve back in. Okay. The water's muddy, that bait puts off a ton of vibration, the fish will feel that, and hopefully they come and bite it. Okay. So we're all, we're all gonna get in this. Nice cast, very good. So this is your first cast, Reggie. Do you notice any difference with this oh. gear compared to the $10 Zebco you're Absolutely. using? Absolutely, it feels so smooth. All right. Uh, it casts further. Oh man, it just feels great. Oh, excellent. That's what we like to hear. This is a stream thermometer. I'm actually gonna get the exact temperature. Okay. I'm guessing it's about 64. I'm gonna see how deep it is too. So drop the thermometer and count it down. I'll see how deep the canal is. About four feet, which is perfect. This okay. is a shallow canal, stained water. I mean, if there's fish in here, we will definitely catch them. 62, I was close. All right, Reggie, I'm gonna teach you my style of bass fishing. Okay. Basically, it's walking and casting. We're gonna cover a ton of water. Okay. Grab your stuff. 
and I'll show you the way. Observe what I do. Okay. Then after I catch the first fish or you catch the first fish, you can take the lead. Okay. And we'll see what you've learned, all right? All right. We're gonna see how much, how quickly you can learn the art of bass fishing. Okay. So what I like doing is I like casting at about a 45 degree angle okay. to parallel. So you see how I'm trying to target like, you know, close to the shoreline. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning and in muddy water, these fish will want to hang out close to the bank okay. to feed. I'm not trying to cast in the middle necessarily. You, you can still do that. Like you, ideally you want to either cast parallel to the bank or you want to cast all the way across and towards the other bank and then reel it straight across. Okay. So those are the ideal casts that you want to do. Gotcha. I'm trying to get it close to... Oh, yeah. Over there. Yeah. I'm still scared of getting, uh, yeah, I mean, so Reggie right here just said he's trying to cast it close to the structure like I told him, but he's scared of getting it hung up. I mean, you got to cast into the nasty place if you want to catch the big fish. So right. don't, if you're going to lose some bait, just try to do your best, but you're going to lose some sometimes. Just right. be fearless. When you're out fishing, be fearless. And that's one good thing about why I use bait casting gear is because it's more accurate. So I can cast closer to the structure without worrying about getting snagged. I <laughs> got the old tree? Yeah. Hey, that'll happen. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, here, I, I get that out for you. Let me show you the technique. Yeah. So Reggie's got his first snag of the day. We're about 10 minutes into fishing. <laughs> hey, you were trying to get into the good stuff. All I respect right. that. So we're gonna slowly reel up the bait. You see it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is, it is right over, we're gonna slowly reel it up, try not to snag any branches. Then right when you get to the top, you just gently shake it off. There we go. Man, yeah, I was uh, gonna just try to reel. Yeah, yeah. Really so yeah, <laughs> reeling up and jerking, that's how you get them snagged, you gotta be gentle with it. Got it. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> weave it through the branches. Gotcha. No problem. Where are these fish at? This place looks too good to not have any bass, come on. Literally, look at this, sticks, overhangs, laydowns, you've got everything here. Stained water, shallow. I just have no clue what's going on exploring this new place. I wanted to pick somewhere close to Reggie, make it convenient for him, and I, I like exploring new places anyways, but we'll see. I'm not picking up a lot of weeds. That was my next question. Should this be uh, closer to the bottom? Ah. To the top? Yeah, so this bait is very versatile. You okay. can either fish it near the top, if you're reeling it somewhat medium, mm -hmm. you can fish it real slow and fish it near the bottom, or you can even let it, you know, jigging, the jigging technique, like you can let it come, go to the bottom and jig it up and down. So you can experiment with all three of those, okay. see if anything catches fish. Yeah, great question. Yeah, bass fishing is all about experimentation. Every single day, there's, no, there's not a single thing that's definitely gonna work. So right now, Reggie and I are exploring the canal. It's really muddy out here, like insane it's chocolate milk because of all the rains. We're going way up to try to find cleaner water. But look right here, this is a massive, massive lay down. We gotta take a couple minutes to just make a few casts at it. Woo! Look at this thing. This thing get cut? Oh no. Oh, I see what happened. There's the uh, root, the base of the tree. It looks like it fell straight across here. And looks like they might have cut it to kind of, uh, they removed the middle portion that was in the way of the path. Uh, what time is it, dude? Nine o'clock. We've been fishing for two hours, one bite. And look, look at what we're fishing right here. This is literally bass heaven. A little bit of current, stained water. You got reeds, you got grass everywhere. We've been fishing with Senkos, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, frogs. Uh, flukes, you name it. We fish everything. So we're just gonna skip this completely even though it looks awesome. And we're gonna try to find some new water. Ah, so we've walked all the way up from the canal to the lock. Fished it, looks great. Zero bites whatsoever. And interestingly, it actually splits into two. So this is one. Look how muddy that water is. And check this out over here, guys. Yo, any bites, Reggie? Nah, not yet. Hey, isn't that interesting? Look at look how clear the water is. It is. It's so clear. This water is extremely clear right here. And you've got another lock right there. You got a little. Uh, did you try casting near the falls? Uh, not, not yet. yet. Yeah, try casting one under there. So I don't think we can fish. It says no trespassing past the left side, but the right side we can continue fishing, and the water actually gets a lot more clear. I mean, you'd think maybe a bass or something might be hanging out up there, right under yeah. the water. You said just let it fall, right? Yeah, let it fall. Hey, why don't you come stand over here? Let's make it real easy. So, you know, we should be able to maybe get some. 
We got all the gear we need. Crazy. Yeah, no bites. I would try it. Can you get it? Oh, 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 get him up. Get him up, Reggie. Let's go, Reggie. Get him up. Your first yeah. bass ever. Yeah. Guys, hey, hey, put it right here, man. Yo. Guys. Oh, snap. Dude, did we call that? Yeah, you literally just called it. It's a lot easier on TV. Yeah, you've never caught, Reggie has never caught a bass there. He's not familiar. Have you ever lipped a bass? No. Yeah, you got it. You've seen okay. how it's done, right? You got this, man. Right, Perfect. Here you go. Here you go. Perfect, dude. First, guys, this is a freak of nature largemouth. Look how fat it is. Look at that right there. Oh, See the hook? Yeah, the hook's actually yeah. in two places. So yeah. push it down. Okay. You can push it down. There you go. Okay, now you can pull it up. Right. Now get it off. Get it out of that end. Wow. There we go. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's so fat. There you go. Right, very good. All right. Now we can go and let this dude go. That wow. <laughs> a little bit of a fall. <sighs> Finally, Woo. clear water. Yes. Tell us about that catch. Perfect. Man, so uh we were talking about the waterfall. Uh threw it near the waterfall, was jigging it up and down, and I think on the fall is when I got the the bite and hooked it and just reeled it in. So right there guys, Reggie has never fished a Senko before. First time ever. Hey, I got it right oh, here. Okay. First time using the Senko, yeah. I hooked him up with the wacky rig on the weedless hook right here. And you know what? I mean, you already caught one. There could be another one. Yeah. I don't know what these fish are eating. That fish was literally obese. If there's more in there, I mean, imagine if there was like a five pounder that size. That would be nuts. But dude, yeah. good job on your first bass. Man, appreciate it. Let's try to get some more. Great, let's do it. Things are looking up for us now. Let's take a look up here now. Yeah, now, now we're in like a new, like look, it's completely muddy right there. Yeah. It's clear over here. This is a new stretch of the canal. And look how clear it is up here, man. Look how clear that is. Now, I'm about to put on a leader now. That's crazy. <sighs> Four hours of fishing, one bite, zero fish for me. I got skunked. The only saving grace is we got Reggie on his first bass ever. Fish six different locks out here. I mean, there's no fish. There's literally no game fish out here. All different conditions, different water clarities, different water temps, different current, different vegetation, just nothing. So I will not be coming back here anytime soon. Good learning experience. That's it for today. All I'm gonna say is that the fishing adventures with Reggie have just begun. <laughs>